All right, so in this lesson, we're just going to go through and show how I would approach creating this part in Inventor, this number six support fixtures. So anytime that I'm doing something like this, I basically break it down to the plane that I want to start with. And what I think I'm going to do is start out by drawing this segment right here. So one of the tricks to actually drawing this is I'm going to want to put this these two fillets in with a radius. So I'm going to have to be on a sketch that's looking at this plane right here. So probably the easiest way to do that is to draw this part here from the plane looking in this direction. So I'm going to start out by creating a sketch on that plane. And whenever I do this, I'm basically going to start out with a rectangle. And I see that my part is one inch thick. So I tab, select one inch, tab. And I can see from the radius that the radius of the end circle is 1.5. So that also tells me that the height of that is 3 inches. So I'm going to do 3. And I lost my... Start this rectangle again. So my height is 3. Tab. Zoom out. And my thickness is 1. So I have that bottom part. Then I'm going to look at the distance away from this line. You can see that the distance away from this line right here is 2.25 and then the thickness is 1. So I'm just going to draw a line out here And another line out here. And I'll throw a dimension on here to constrain it. So that is 2.25. And then I'll add another dimension there, which is 1. Now I need to make the lines that connect these. So in this view, you can see the top of this line right here connects with the top of this part. I'm just going to make that connection. And I also have a 0.5 radius. So I'm draw a line from there over. And I'm going to do a fillet with a radius of 0.5. Select that line and that line. And then I have to look at the bottom radius and the thickness of the part. It's one inch there, so I could probably assume that it's one inch thick at the bottom as well. I'm going to come back and draw a line down here. Throw a dimension in so I have it exactly one inch away. And then I'm going to do my fillet again, this time with a radius of 1.5. Now I have to look at how high this comes up. I'm just going to take it up to the entire height of this. So let's see if I can find where that is. So from the center of this circle, which would be the center of this part, to the center of that circle is 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put these circles in now. Um, or actually, I'll have to wait till I do that. I will find the midpoint in the center of these circles. So I'm going to draw 
this line, just for construction purposes, find my midpoint, draw a line there, and then draw another line here somewhere, goes the whole way across, and throw my dimension in that is exactly 5 away, and that gives me the center of that circle. So whenever I'm trying to find the height from the center of the circle to the top, or the top quadrant of the circle, I can come out here and I see that this circle on the outside has a diameter of 4. So from the quadrant to the center would be the radius, and the radius would be 2. So I have to go up another 2 to find the end of this part. So I can draw another line. Somewhere up here, and I can dimension that make it two, and that's the top of my part. So I'm just going to go ahead and extend these lines up. Since I no longer need that, I'm going to take that one away, and I know that this, from that line to that line, is 7. Just put that in there to keep that in place, and I'm going to trim out, trim those lines out, and I'm also going to trim this line out. actually delete that at this point. And this is basically the profile of the part that I want to extrude. And at this point I can go through and finish the sketch so that I can do an extrude. at my sketch again, I can see that the dis I'm trying to find the distance from here to here, the thickness of that part, and I know that it's going to be the same as the diameter of this out outer circle, so it is 4 across there. I'm going to use my extrude tool, and I'm going to extrude it the other direction, and I'm going to extrude it 4 inches. So once I have this part, now I can go back and create the front of this. So I know that the total from center to center is 7, and then I have a 1.5 radius out on the end. So I'm going to do a sketch on this surface. And I'm going to draw a circle in that midpoint somewhere out here. And I'm going to make that my 1.5 diameter. Do the same thing here, 1.5 diameter. just for construction purposes from the midpoint. Now I can dimension from that midpoint to the center. Half of 7, which would be 3.5. And I'll dimension the other one. Again, 3.5. Now I have those circles. Now I need to draw the outer circles outer circles here. So those have a diameter of 3, so the radius is 1.5, with the same center point. Do another circle 
same location, this time diameter of 3, diameter of 3, and I can draw some lines to connect them. I can trim out the parts that aren't needed. And I can finish my sketch. And now I can extrude this. Actually, I'm going to have to extrude each end individually since I have this. I'll go back into my sketch, edit sketch, and add a line here to there, and a line from there to there. And I'm going to trim out those middle parts and get rid of my construction line there. So whenever I finish sketch, now I should be able to extrude these two profiles back this direction and this is one inch thick. And I have the start of the part. So this quadrant, this circle, is up here. So I can take away this part by doing a sketch on this surface, or I could do it on this back surface. I'm going to start another sketch right here. And I'm just going to draw a line down the radius of my circle, which was 2. Draw my circle, and I'm going to add some lines from the quadrant. And now I can go through and I can trim out the parts that I don't need. Delete that line. Finish my sketch and extrude that out. Select those two profiles. Go the opposite direction. Pick all. And now I have so now I can look at this part and I can extrude this circle through the whole way through. That's a two inch diameter circle with the same center point as this one. So I can go back into my previous sketch and I can add that in, edit the sketch, and draw a circle from here, two inch radius. Finish the sketch, and I'm going to edit the feature. I could have did this all at once, so I'm going to include this profile also, and say OK. The last thing to do is add this part here, which looks like it comes out. The diameter is 4 figure out how far that's actually going to come out. And I'm guessing this line is going to the outside of this at the center. So my total thickness is 2. This thickness was 1. So I have to add an inch to this on the back. Just turn this around. I do a 
sketch on this surface. And I basically just draw two circles. inch diameter, one with a four inch diameter, finish the sketch, and I do my extrude out one inch, and 